My name is Sam Carter. 
I am a senior here at Westminster, and I am the student leadership team head. I'm super happy to have you all here joining us today for the closing convocation. I'd like to open in a word of prayer, so please bow your heads with me. God, thank you for the mercy you've showed our school and our campus over this challenging time. Thank you for the health of our staff, our students, our parents, our friends. Thank you for just watching over us and keeping us safe through this time. God, we pray for the senior class. We pray for their hearts and their, and their minds that you will ease them and comfort them. Thank you for the teachers that have poured into us over this uh, challenging period. And just thank you for all, for all the blessings you've shown us through this period. We pray this in your name. Amen. Good morning. I'm Jack Baker, and I'm a senior. Years from now, when I look back on my senior year of high school, I will only want to remember the great memories from my final year. I won't want to think about the COVID-19 pandemic, but I know that it will stand out boldly in my mind. The coronavirus has taken away many things I've hoped for, but I'm so appreciative of the time it has given me with my family. Time I never could have found in the ever busy spring semester I was, expect I was expecting to experience. I've been on walks, watched movies, played games, and enjoyed meaningful conversations with my family each night at dinner. I cherish these times, and while I never, ever could have experienced or planned on experiencing a senior year playing out like this, I know that in the future, when I reflect on my final year of high school, I'll see the twofold story of my senior year. Great memories made at Westminster, and great memories made at home with my family. In this time at home, I've been given more opportunities to quietly reflect on scripture. Even though I'm not able to listen to the great chapel speakers come each week like I used to be able to, I'm so thankful I was able to hear them elaborate on our theme verse from this year. In my five years at Westminster, this year's theme has meant more to me than any of the themes previously because it points to one of the most meaningful things we can do in our lives, love Jesus. Philippians 3.17 says, Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters. And just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. Thank you. We'll now be hearing from our head of schools, Mr. Brian Case. Thanks, Sam and Jack and the student leadership team for your great leadership this year. I'm very proud of the way that you have led our student body uh, with Ephesians 3.17 and all the many ways that you've uh, unified this school and the student body today all the way from PK 3 to 12. Congratulations student leaders on a wonderful school year. I'm also very proud of our senior class, the class of 2020. I hope that you will congratulate them as we finish this school year differently. But we want to say thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you for your dedication to living out uh, the mission of Westminster School and all that you have done this year to make this a wonderful year uh, for our teachers and for our faculty, our staff, and our community. Thank you, Senior Class of 2020. So this is the final day of Teacher Appreciation Week, and I hope that you've been able this week to celebrate your teachers and faculty from the Board of Trustees, from my office and the leadership team. I want to say thank you, teachers, for a wonderful school year probably has challenged many of us in more ways than we could ever imagine, but you hung in there, you've done a great job, you've finished well, uh, and I wanna say thank you, I wanna say congratulations on a job well done, and know that you are appreciated. Students, take time to send a note to say thank you, and at this very moment, wherever you are as you watch this, let's give them a wonderful, wonderful round of applause.
Ephesians 3.17. Keep track of those you see running this same course, headed for the same goal. There are many out there taking other paths, choosing other goals, and trying to get you to go along with them. All they want is easy street. They hate Christ's cross, but easy street is a dead end. Those who live there make their bellies their gods. Burps are their praise, and all they can think of is their appetites. Ephesians 3.17 from the message. As I reflected on this verse here at the end of the year, I came up with a few questions that I want to leave with you for the summer. Number one, what is your course this summer? Where will you spend your time? And who will you spend your time with? Seniors, as you go off to college next year, where will you spend your time? And who will you spend your time with? Number two, what are your goals? What did you learn this year that made you a better you, a better student? a better brother or sister, a better friend? And how will you grow this summer to continue to build on your growth this year? How will you grow spiritually as well? How will you avoid easy street this summer? What if instead you take the more challenging road this summer? the road to imitating Christ so that you get to know and understand the God of the universe even better. If you're going to be a professional imitator of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to get to know the Father even better, it will not be easy street. It will take hard work, discipline, and accountability. I think it will take two important things. Number one, you will have to be still and listen. Number two, you will have to practice. Remember earlier in the fall at opening convocation, I shared with you the liar bird. How did this bird imitate sounds? Well, we talked about the bird having to listen, and then the bird had to practice those sounds over and over. To make the perfect sound, the bird had to listen well, imitate, and practice. Let's look at a new imitator. Let's look at the human voice. these animal sounds. He had to listen, 
over and over and over again. And to listen well, he had to sit still. And then he had to practice it over and over and over again. And I'm sure he had an accountability partner tweaking his sounds, telling him it was right, telling him it, there was something else he needed to do. There's no real way to imitate God's son or anything unless you're still quiet and you listen and you practice and you have accountability in your life. So I love to finish the year with a case challenge. This summer, be still, be silent, and listen before the Lord so that you can learn his ways. And then find an accountability partner and practice his ways. Listening to your partner who can tweak your ways and help you grow to be more like Christ. If you practice his ways through prayer, reading, unconditional love, forgiveness, hope, faith, joy, and peace, you will be prepared next year to begin another school year. And so our prayer for you this summer is to enjoy some time away from the books, enjoy some time away from the deadlines, but to enjoy some quiet time to listen to the Lord, to learn who he really is, to find an accountability partner, and to practice imitating Jesus Christ. I hope that you have a wonderful summer, and please let us know if there's anything we can do to support you. God bless. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah I raise a hallelujah, heaven comes to fight for me, I'm gonna sing in the middle of a storm, louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar, up from the ashes, hope will arise, death is defeated. See